Matt. It's my sheep impression. Matt. G'day, welcome back to sunny, amazing Canterbury. <laughs> what a spring it's been so far. Just warm, uh, dry, the frosts have eased off, grass is growing, managed to get some nitrogen on, so um, things are really looking like the best spring we've had in, I don't know, three or four years probably, I think. Morning, Cuz. How are you? You good? And Alfie over there. So it's set stocking time. So yesterday spent all day in the yards getting all the hill ewes ready for set stocking. So they got a five in one, they got a long acting selenium, they got a drench. Uh, oh, I sure a few ones that missed shearing. Um, yeah, so now we're just spreading them out on the hills. So set stocking is where you got my piece of paper here, but it's uh, kind of you work out the capacity, cool. stocking capacity of a paddock and then depending on how much grass it's got or the potential that it's got to grow grass you um, put a number of ewes in there and then they are left in there until they finish lambing and then when they finish lambing we open up some gates start rotating them around getting used to gateways then they come down for tailing and then uh, yeah, there's a couple of different ways you can either put them back in the same paddock or uh, we rotate them around in kind of a bigger mob and just get the grass to start growing in front of them um, yeah, so these ones here are twins. We put some in this hill paddock up behind us. It's what you saw in the opening clip of this. And then these girls are gonna wander up halfway up the strip track, up there somewhere, if you can see me. And then some will go up to the right, and then the rest will go up straight ahead and continue on to some other hill paddocks. So, but now we're gonna go and uh, run some singles up. They're gonna go up this side of the farm, up there. And generally they're, spread out more sparsely on some areas that are a bit harsher um, yeah they've only got one lamb to look after so they're a bit higher in altitude but the grass should come away just as well and it's all the areas where we've been wintering the ewes so we'll go and do that now dogs are king awesome work aren't you so these ones here are singles they're going yeah, up the right hand side up here but just a wee bit further up in this paddock, we've got a draft off uh, 66. So hopefully they'll follow us. I've got the dogs back there, two hidden dogs. So if they don't follow me, then uh, I can just bring them up with them. And should go pretty smoothly, hopefully. So we've got 90 going into this paddock here. And man, this has come away well. So some good, good, uh, these are all twins. So some good um, pasture cover on there. I'll love it in there. So that's quite lightly stocked in there for how much grass is in there but the beauty is shedding cows and calves off is we can always put 10 cows with their calves in there as the cows calve so um we'll probably look at doing that this year just yeah spreading those cows and calves out around the hills as they calve um and as we tag the calves so we've got cousin behind bringing the next lot up we're going to put 30 into this paddock 
heaps of grass in here, so we end up putting some cows in here. Well, um, this is a bit tricky. We've got a tr quite a big area to block off, but we'll just see how this goes. So it's 32 in there, they'll be all good. And then we'll let the rest of these just wander up to the top of the airstrip to um, to where they will get drafted off again. <whistles> ah, the bellbirds. So I got them some very exciting news I just noticed. Look at that. The poplar poles have sprouted. How exciting is that? Oh, it's so good. I think it's just this variety at the moment, just the, the brown and the red, because all these, all these ones along here have just sprouted, so, ah, oh, stoked, and, oh yep, still in the ground well, nice, can't wait to see how they uh, grow up and flourish over the summer. Good morning, <laughs> Thursday morning, it is brutal. Been up, check the cows and the calves up there and by the hill house and man, it is the wind. Norwest is just howling through there. I think we're under a, a watch, a, a Norwest watch or something, wind watch, which is like 100 k's an hour. Just by, and it's, it's all of that at the moment. It's, um, yeah, pretty horrible. Stock don't want to move tried shedding off some cows and calves and it's just oh, it's a nightmare so we left them to it and hopefully it'll ease off hopefully you can hear me but we've just got the last of these um, hill ewes to six and eight uh, drench and five and one and selenium and all that stuff so we'll get on and do them split them up singles and twins and then uh, that'll be all the hill ewes sorted and uh, we can continue our set stocking yeah there's only a hundred to do, so not too bad. Finish this job off. Yes, ma. looks like that's a classic example so the blue sky above the main divide and then cloud all the way across Canterbury Plains classic Norwest arch comes with some beautiful sunsets sunrises and crazy cloud formations but pretty brutal on the sensors Last race, we've got our selenium, giving them a mill of that. All right, five and one's in the bag with a chiller, and then we're giving them some Zolvix. Make sure they get completely cleaned out uh, before they go up on the hill to lamb. Right. Sweet, sweet. That'll go back, go back. Good boy, that'll do. Yep. 
Yeah, oh boy. So just had a quick bite of lunch and the wind's eased off a wee bit. It's um, no doubt it's going to come back again, but it does that. It kind of ebbs and flows. Um, just here in the singles, early U singles. So they've, they've all finished lambing. I think they finished lambing a couple of days ago, the last one. So we're just going to open them up into this Italian paddock. Um, so yeah, chuck, chase them in there just so the lambs get the best start and the ewes can keep milking and all that fun stuff. Yeah, so now it's now we've finished early lambing. It's all about making sure the ewes are fed well and uh, we can mob them up, rotate them around. Yeah, chuck some nitrogen on some paddocks. Yeah, and uh, get the grass to grow and get them to eat it. So just standing here in a paddock of Italian grass, chicory, that's the stuff, and white clover and red clover. And um, so just contemplating what I do with this paddock. This is due for the sing main lot of single ewes and lambs to come into here on their rotation. But then I also want to have this paddock for the, once we start weaning some lambs out of the shed that have been on the automatic feeder. Uh, multiples and mismothered ones so I'm just gonna fence off a wee bit here so the ewes and lambs can have the rest of this paddock and then yeah by the time we come around to putting weaning some out of the shed there'll be a good pick um, of, of fenced, fenced off area and then they can graze that down and then we can open them up into the rest of the paddock so just trying to get my head around how much area I need for them to do that job um, to save that pasture for them so I think uh, yeah just this wee corner will be all right so that section there should be enough for them for now um, we'll go and let these other ewes into here and then as soon as those ewes are done we'll chuck some quick start on here which is just a nitrogen and sulfur uh, good for spring growth and then um, and then it'll jump away and there should be plenty in here for those few lambs So just checking on the hoggets, they do to get shorn on Monday, so uh, four days time. Um, yeah, just shifted open the gate, let them wander through yesterday, so I'm just going to shut that. They all look pretty good in there, there'll be enough feed in there until they go to the wool shed. And then, uh, yeah, then it's pretty near time to set stop them. Pretty close to lambing for them. Get in Alfie, get in Alfie! Trying to get these single ewes and lambs across the creek into the good grass we've set their fence up in. Quiet! Side, so it's quite tight. Too hard. Oh, <laughs> 
Good boy, that'll do. All I go. Good boy, Jasper. Good boy. Good boy, cuz. All I go. Good boy, Alfie. Perfect. That went well. Now yeah, they can just pull mother up and I'll be good in there. So, see, it's a bit tricky. Long grass. Oh, hole. That creek they've got to go through. The land's never been through a creek before. That's a win. It's good. Match this and we'll be done. So I found a good job to do on a really windy, crappy day. Went and got a, borrowed a mulcher off a friend. So um, we're in here just mulching this raffino, raffino stalk so we can get this paddock back in the grass as quick as possible. The um, reason I'm doing this is I don't think the discs or it's some of it's, well, obviously it's regrowing, so some of it's still quite hard and stringy and stuff, so I don't think the discs will cut it up as well as I hope, so we're just going to mulch. It's only about oh, three hectares, something like that, so we'll get this done. It'll just take me a, a wee bit to do it. Then we get the discs in here or the local contractor in here to work it up, and then we'll get it back in the grass and clover as soon as possible, and it uh, should be pretty good for when uh, the hoggets are finished lambing, they can jump onto here and do the first graze, which would be perfect. So this will about do for me to the end of the day. We'll just, uh, it's not, not doing a too bad a job. We'll just continue along. We've got this strip here to do and then another strip over the other side of the paddock. So yeah, continue that, but at least, <laughs> at least we're out of the wind. And I'll fix my squeaky seat in the tractor which is good, good for you guys. Alright, thanks very much for watching. See you in the next one.